Wow, that's a tough mission we set up for ourselves. How can we rebuild the whole nation? Hmm. Well, first of all, obviously, we'll need to rebuild Jeju. We need to bring him back to their glory days, make them good again. To do that, what do we need? We need to clear the squad. Hey, um, yes, yes, you. Um, can I ask you for a favor? Can you help me clear out the squad? Thanks, bud. Very nice. It will be done, boss. You are now free to rebuild. What? You, what? That's not what I meant. Where am I going to find 20 more players now? Well, that's one way to rebuild. Hello world, I'm Mr. Spaceman, and welcome to the second episode of Tigers of Asia with Jeju United and South Korea, obviously, we let's not forget about that. And today, as you would have seen in the intro, we have had a squad clear out. And to be fair, that's kind of what we do here. We try to build the nation, and now we're going to be trying to build the clubs up as well. You know, we're going to be taking all sorts of clubs in South Korea, both divisions, trying to make them the best, and then moving on once they are the best. And with this... Of course, you're going to have to have a rebuild because that's kind of the nature of this. And what happened here? And again, look at the intro once again. To be fair, it was a fun intro to make. We have sold quite a lot of players and we have bought in quite a lot of players. A lot of players have left on the transfer deadline day and I couldn't do anything about it because the board accepted it. Made me sad. One of the big names that left is Ryu Xiong Wu, who I'm pretty sure I have said that I'm not going to be letting this guy go because I like this guy. He's going to be... I said he's going to be, he would have been quite a good player for us, you know, good dribbling, good acceleration, good pace. But now he's going to be doing all that jazz for Pohang, so that's kind of unfortunate. He was also one of our own, you know, he started his career at our club. But, you know, this kind of thing happens quite often. Another player we let go is Kim Young wook You know, another one of those midfielders that was kind of, he was old, he was earning a lot of money. The players were annoyed that I was kind of letting, not letting him go. And then I was like, you know what? I don't need all this headaches. Give me the 190k. I will sell you on. And to be fair, he's okay. He's playing in a division above us. He's played two games. I don't mind. You know, it, it's not a problem. And apart from that, no real big stuff. Only the Deadwood, you know, Na Sang Yun, Lee Hang Won. Like, you probably haven't even seen them. They haven't played, so it doesn't really matter. So last time we left you, we said that we were going to sign Jun Sang Bin. We have. He's quite a good player. And actually, funny story. He is on a quite a goal scoring form and at some point I think he was either 4 for 4 or like 3 for 3 and it was funny because I did say he's got a goal record of one goal a game and I was like ooh can he continue for us sadly not only four goals in six matches not a bad player very good youth prospect I'm looking forward to seeing this guy he, like I can if he improves his concentration a little bit and a, a lot I mean I actually don't know where he could be he's a perfect poacher I'm going to be playing him as an advanced forward. I like that formation quite well. Maybe his work rate could be a bit better. And if he improves his pace as well, he will be actually unstoppable. Because, wow, he is actually quite good. Moving on, we signed some youth. I think Kang Kang Jin, a decent player. We, again, we want to build some youth. We want to contribute a bit to the South Korean national team. And we rated Ulsan for that. So we stole Park Chul, a uh, winger, a uh, five-star potential rating. Not too bad, you know, quite quick. Maybe improves his pace because his acceleration is quick, but his pace isn't. Jong Sung Hoo, another player from that left back. You know, there's not many good young left backs in South Korea. So that's a problem. That's why we kind of got him. He will get some game time. And I think he's already had. He's already played three games for us, which, you know, these guys, they came through while I was there and they were very happy to join me. Again, for pennies, I think. We have quite a lot of money. Uh, we signed another player, Jong Chi Ji. This guy, because remember, we said that we don't have much players in advanced playmaker position. And he's going to fit that role in. A very good little player. Good passing, good teamwork. You know, he's a good backup option. That's it. We just need some backup options. To replace Ri Seung Woo, we have Danny Choi. And to be fair, he's very, very good. If you compare it to Ri Seung Woo, they're not too dissimilar. I mean, speed, maybe. But apart from that, like, Danny Choi is better technically much better technically maybe you know physicals and um mentals you can kind of argue with it but apart from that it's kind of very good i'm really happy with danny Choi, especially for how much money like 15k and we sold risung for 240 and then to fill out our squad huang tae hyung another striker that can play also center back i love that i think we mentioned him before and so dan han just a bit of a punt i saw another young left back and i just signed him because why not at least he might be good for our under-23s. 
Also, there are some things that I haven't done in time. I think we're going to have some more players coming in. Um, Chung Hyun Chul, a young player. For some reason, the scouts threw him up for me, and I was like, okay, he's got good tackling, good marking, good positioning. I can play him. If he develops, it'll be perfect. If he doesn't, not a problem. But he's played 37 games for Lone Star, and I know it's, it's an academy in America, but still, it can't be that bad. And we're going to do something that I haven't thought I would do. I'm going to sign a North Korean for this team. I'm going to sign Kang Guk Chol, who's another very good left back. And apparently can play wing back, which to be fair, he can. Decent tackling, decent marking, decent positioning. Could be something we do. But again, for as cheap as it is, I think he's going to be quite good. These guys can play. They're not foreigner players, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, sorry, I have covered quite a lot. Like I said, there's going to be a huge rebuild and this was the huge rebuild. But yeah, how did we do in the league? As you can see, it's all green. Since Songnam, which to be fair is a hard team to play, we have won everything. And to be fair, quite comfortably. I know there was a lot of 2-1s, 2-1s, but a lot of those one goals conceded war because of the fact that I just, I wanted to build the guys. I wanted to play youth. That's kind of what we're here for, aren't we? 3-1 against Asan. Very good. Ri sung -woo. Sad. Kim young wook Jung sung Ben scoring so it's quite a lot of goals leonko has been popping up as you can see he popped up against asan he popped up against sangju very very good goals uh john nam again kim won sick actually who's our ball playing defender nope that's a lie who's our ball winning midfielder you know we we are play we are scoring from every sorts of position so that's something very nice you know i was worried after that 1-1 draw that we're not going to be scoring too much kim song jun scoring 2-1 against suwon in the k league we're doing fine gimpo 2-0 Lee hyun -gyun and Leonko. Lee hyun -gyun, this is the guy that played for us. Well, didn't really play for us in Ulsan, but, you know, he's okay. He's okay. He's a very good squad player, and I can use him a little bit. Again, rotate in and out. And finally, Seoul Eland, Jang Sung bin scoring two, and Danny Choi scoring a goal. So, yeah, very good stuff. So, today, we're playing Daejeon, Daejeon Citizens, who were meant to be our big rivals. I think they were a very good team, but they're currently 10th. So that is kind of something interesting. I was expecting them to do much better. I think if you look at season preview, we, they were meant to do a bit better. Yeah, they were meant to come second. They're nowhere near that now, are they? But yeah, let's just jump in and I'll show you the squad we're going to be taking on today with them. So here we are. This is the lineup we're going to go for. And it is a bit changed since last time because I'm having a lot of strikers. And I didn't want to just, you know, play Thiago Loenko by himself. Or I didn't want to just, you know, ignore everyone else and play Jong Sung Min. What I decided to do, since we have a lot of youth strikers coming through and we have a lot of just attacking options. I thought, hey, if Advanced Playmaker doesn't work anyways, and we only have one decent backup, you know, the guy that we just signed. Why not just play 4-4-2? So far, it's working. Who are, who am I to judge? And yeah, this is how we're going to play. We're going to play with Yu Bin Sung in goal. Jong Woon Jae is going to play on the left. Midfield, we're going to have a centre-back partnership with Ju Sung Wook and Tarasov. He is a bit slow. He's starting to slow down a little bit, but I think he's doing quite well. And he does bring a little bit of leadership to the squad. I don't know how long I can persist with him if he keeps dropping his physicals, but so far, so good. Rafael Franca, who at the start, I thought he wasn't going to be a good player. He's actually not too bad. He's a very good complete wingback, or wingback in my case. Very good guy. He's got more potential. So whoever signed this guy was not an asshole. So they actually signed a good player for me. So I'm not going to argue with that. I thought I was going to let him go, but he's staying for now. Kim won sick. He's a really good ball winning midfielder who I actually almost sold, but I told him, hey, hey, come on. Like, we're a good team. You know, we'll miss your leadership qualities. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it worked. Who am I to judge? Park Jin Sop, gonna continue it. He's been on a decent form. I like him a lot. I very much do. On the right, we'll have Kim Song Jun. Choi is gonna keep playing. And then up front, you know it, is Jung Sung Bin and Thiago Loenko. So let's go! Let's go. Okay, so we're back in it. We're back in those games. Oh boy, I, again, they're playing a 4 2 3 1. And in my head, that is not a typical position or formation that actually 4 4 2 will be good against. But. We are a very good team, and as you can see, we're already doing a little bit not too bad. You know, we're dominating the play, we're controlling it, and but not creating much, which is interesting. I've I thought that because Dejon, I mean, granted, it, it can go either way because you know how this works. You know, it's a big team; they start playing bad, and then somehow they manage to beat you. But we're on the ball, Choi on the ball, Kim Sun Jun. Is he going to create something? He doesn't, but Park Jin Sup does collect it. Okay, that could have been a bad counterattack. A lot of our players are up. That's kind of the the kind of the, the the trend I've been noticing. What we do, we concede a lot of counterattacks, and there is one Cho Jae Hoon, Park Sang Kyuk. 
They're playing it. Ooh, Tarasov is not going to catch up to that one. That could have been my mistake. And you've been saying, mm, okay, that was a decent save. Not bad. Not going to complain about that. This game is going to go through quickly. We are having a lot of shots. That's the thing. We're having quite a lot of shots. We need to put those shots on target. And hmm, maybe you don't get to see much. Who knows? But yeah, we have been dominating. We have been playing much better. But I do want a more, I guess, better performance. Because this is not something... Okay, that was a misclick, but this is not something we should be taking for granted. They're a very good team. Just because they've had a bad start to the season does not mean anything. You know, a lot of things could have happened. They could have had injuries. They could have had, you know, just personnel issues. But we have a highlight straight away, and let it not be a fake one. Deloenko plays it. Jong Sung Bin. Jong Sung Bin. Jong Sung Bin. Let's go. <laughs> yes. See, partnership. They have a very, very good partnership. And I'm really happy with the way they've been playing together. I They're just kind of looking at him celebrate. Interesting. Maybe social distancing and work. But yeah, okay. So just as I say, hey guys, what the hell is this? They go, all right, through ball. Very good looking through ball. Wow. Jung Sung Bin puts that away. Let's go. 1-0 against Daejeon Citizens. Yeah. By the way, if you want to know, Jeju have been promoted in real life this season. So we need to kind of be repeating that. I know we have an extra year on this now. Oh, we don't? Yeah, because we're in 2021 now. So we're kind of now in the realms of our time. Franca, Choi. Park Sing Hyuk, Choi. Ooh, okay. Oh, Tarasov again. Yeah, I'm beginning to suspect that I need to do something with it. But, whoa, that's a good little partnership play. And Jun Song Hook wins it. And that was pretty good defensive play. Did you see how they pivoted? They know because the guy knows that Tarasov is slow. And Tarasov knows he's slow. And he probably told him in broken Korean English or whatever he spoke to rotate. That is amazing. That is... Top defending partnership. Wow. I like that. Sorry, it was just something cool. I, You know, when you notice this thing as a football manager, and if you know a little bit about football, you go, okay, these guys, like, whoever programmed that is a genius. Kim Song Jun? Ooh, that could have been a good chance. Yeah, while I was doing all the cool tactic and cool, uh, how cool SI is at like coding, I almost com completely missed that. <laughs> 70 minutes. We need to do something. I am not going to make any changes because no one's really tired. I mean, Choi's not doing too well. Franca is on a yellow. But again, I don't have any good wingbacks to replace in his position. Deloenko, who, in my mind, I think he has been worth the 9k I pay a week. You know, he's been contributing a lot. And again, hopefully, if he plays a few good seasons or this good season, we can sell him for a bit of money. And then we can buy a better but to be a better striker. But to be fair, I'm okay with it. Kim, mm, Kim Song-jun missed that completely. 71st minute. I would like to put some youth on, but I'm afraid. I'm actually very afraid. Let's see. Well, Franca is a bit tired. We're going to put Kimon Kihu. Kimo Kyu. Who is the guy, if you, if I can actually bring him up. He's a bit slow. So I, I don't know how well he's going to play a wing back. What else are we going to do? Well, Danny Choi has not been doing too well. We're going to put in Jin Sung Uk. And maybe, oh, should I put in a striker? Let's put in... Lee, Lee Hyung Gyon, just change it up a little bit. Keep that partnership, you know, just a little bit different angle of attack, maybe. Who knows? They have a free kick, Jong Sung Won. Oh, Chapman. I think that's one of theirs, of course. I don't have a Chapman on my team. And this is quite un unfortunate. Kim Jong Hoon. Park Sang Hyuk. We need to be careful. Tarasov does not get there, but he does. They get Park Sang Hyuk. Clear it, guys. Clear it. Oh, good. But they have the ball again, and okay. Oh, boy. I think they're going to. Oh, man. The pressure comes up from nowhere. Oh, we should have been more clinical. Kim Jong Hyun. Oh, it's the post. Oh, he tips it over the bar. Yubun Sung. Wow, man, that 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 could have been a match-saving goal. Kim Won Sik, Jung Sung Uk clears it. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful. I need to encourage the team. Another free kick. We are conceding way too many free kicks in this. Eventually, he's gonna score. Surely, Kim Jong Hyun. Oh, Yumbun Sang again. Oh, man. Look at that. They went from zero to absolutely a lot in expected goals. But Tam's going to trickle away, and that's a good result. I mean, again, do not forget. I know I said their last, but they're meant to be second in the league. And this is a very important result for us because we keep putting on the pressure. And that's some good stuff. I'm happy. This is a team that kind of wasn't fully there when the season started. But now it is. I'm really happy. You know, as you can see here, we're nine points away from John Nam. I know they have a game in hand, but that's fine. We just need to keep this up. I'm really happy.
Jong Un Jae played very well. Our left back, yeah, because no attacks came from the left, I don't think. Most from the right side. But so, what does this mean for when I'm going to see you back next time? Well, it's got to be this game, surely. It's got to be the Ulsan game for the fourth round. I'm going to have a lot of games to play through. And hopefully then I can kind of slow down and actually introduce you to more teams, you know, so you can actually see them. But Ulsan, it's going to be returned for home for me. And hopefully they haven't been doing too bad or too good. But we'll just take a look. They're third. Ooh. Ooh. So I must have been doing something right to Chompyuk first, of course. Who else? But yeah, I'll see you guys for the Ulsan Hyundai game in the cup. Hopefully we can do a little bit. Hopefully we can kind of <laughs> disappoint them just a little bit. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more Football Manager 21, more FIFA videos and more things like man, Tigers of Asia is so fun. I'm enjoying doing this for you. I hope you enjoy it too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.